So Mark Zuckerberg just got caught lying in front of Congress about selling the deeply private data of more than 200 million Americans, probably your data, by the way. It's one of the more flagrant abuses big tech has committed recently. There's a long list of those. But it's hardly the only abuse. All the major tech platforms have colluded to silence opinions they don't like and to destroy the people who express those opinions. They've done this in the open. We've watched it happen. Google employees secretly, meanwhile, discussed hiding conservative websites and search results because they're just not legitimate. Facebook's founding president, Sean Parker, admitted that his company created an intentionally addictive product like cigarettes that could destroy children's brains, which is exactly, of course, what it's done. It all adds up to a terrifying picture, a serious menace to this country, to our democracy, to our mental health, check the numbers on that sometime, to our cohesion as a nation. It's a real threat, obviously, and everybody knows it. How's Congress doing protecting us from any of these threats? Good question. They're not, and they're not even trying. And if you're wondering why they're not trying, the answer might be, in part anyway, the outgoing Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan. Ryan didn't seem interested in reigning in the tech companies in any way when he was the third most powerful man in America. In part, he was too busy preventing a wall from being built on our southern border to get to the tech question. But there might have been other reasons. We're just speculating now. Now that he's leaving the Congress and moving to the private sector, will Paul Ryan be taking any money from any of the big tech firms like Facebook or Google or Twitter? Seemed like an interesting question, an obvious one that no one else has asked. So we called Paul Ryan's office today and we asked that question. We haven't got an answer yet. And it's uh, 8.20 p.m. Eastern. We're going to keep checking. We're going to get back to you when they respond. So the leadership of the House, of course, is changing. Democrats are taking over. Uh, but the Republicans still hold the Senate. Is there any interest, will there be, in reigning in tech at all? Josh Hawley was just elected senator. He's a Republican from Missouri, and he joins us tonight. Mr. Senator-elect, thanks very much for coming on. Now, I'm not going to force you to join me in pointing fingers as to why this hasn't been done up to this point, but I will ask the question, do you think the Congress, maybe on a bipartisan basis going forward, will recognize that maybe there's some tweaking that needs to be done in the government's relationship with these companies? Uh, Tucker, thanks for having me on, and I, I certainly hope so. I mean, it's time that Congress got serious about protecting the privacy, the data, the personal confid confidential information of hundreds of millions of Americans. And to see this report today that Facebook has allowed these big tech companies, Amazon, Microsoft, Spotify, Netflix, to have access to the personal information of users after Facebook said that it would not allow, it would not give away users' personal data is really extraordinary. And uh, look, it, it's time Congress did something about it. It's time the FTC did something about it. So you often hear people say, well, Congress can't actually act to regulate these companies because its members are too old and they don't understand technology. I'll freely admit I don't understand technology at all. I try not to participate in it at any level. And yet the abuses are so obvious to me that doesn't really seem like a very good excuse. Well, listen, I mean, what needs to happen here is, number one, uh, Facebook promised the FTC in 2011 in a, in a binding consent decree. They said that they would not share personal, private, confidential data of users without the user's consent. Well, Tucker, it looks like that's exactly what Facebook is doing, though, that they are sharing that data in order to make a profit, as you pointed out, without right. user's consent. So number one, FTC needs to enforce the consent decree. They need to investigate right now whether or not Facebook has violated it. Number two, Congress needs to investigate and Congress needs to take steps to protect the privacy of Americans. They need to make sure that Americans own their own data and can protect it. So this is a little bit out of left field, but I think that maybe there's a connection. The CDC just came out with new suicide numbers, and suicide is one of the leading causes of death in this country. Its incidence has dramatically increased, and all of us in middle age know people, tragically, who've killed themselves recently. There's a lot of speculation and some evidence that there's a connection between increased use of tech products and this tragic epidemic of suicide. Is anyone, do you think, at the, at the federal level going to look a little more closely into this? It seems like something worth investigating. You know, I, I think it is worth studying, and I think that, uh, look, it's time that we asked about uh, the role of big tech in our lives. I mean, we've, yes. we've talk, you've talked a lot about the sweetheart deals big tech gets from government. I think it's time we took a hard look at those. I think it's time we looked at the effect big tech is having on our personal lives, on our families, on our schools, on our society. Uh, these are major companies, many of them monopolies. They make billions of dollars a year. There have never been more powerful companies in the history of the world, and they need to be held accountable. Man. I wish I lived in Missouri so I could vote for you again. 
<laughs> I just, I love, it's so nice to hear an elected official say that. I'm sorry to suck up. I can't, couldn't control myself. Uh, Mr. Charlie, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, we're just hours away right now from a potential government shutdown. The debate is over funding for the border wall. Will there be a border wall or has that dream died? Details ahead.